morning everyone this is sachin kishore from the alaga community and health center Good morning, everyone. This is Sachin Fiske from Electrical Engineering Department, S N D College of Engineering and Research Center. Yesterday we discussed some point related to open loop control system and closed loop control system, and some of the examples related to control system. Now today we are going to discuss about some advantages of this control system regarding the communication systems. with each other today we are starting one more time the closed loop control system so this is the introduction about control system this control system is basically a process of plant wherein the control elements are distributed through the system and this is contrast to non distributed system which is use a single controller at a central location but basically in dc dcs system a hierarchy of the controller is connected by communication network for command and monitoring some definitions are given it means by which is a variable quantity or set of variable quantity is made to conform for a prescribed norm now here we are going to discuss how does one converts an open loop system to a closed loop system here the basic difference between an open loop system and closed loop system is that the latter has a feedback part and that is the output is the feedback to the controller and this is achieved by using sensor that detects the output and convert it to a electrical form so that it can be sent back to the controller so let us take one example that is input signal is given to one of the amplifier and then it is given to the motor so that the output of the shaft of the motor will be given to the load now we are moving towards some basic components of the control system it includes plant feedback then controller and some error detector and it is basically used for the servo mechanism now what is meant by servo mechanism so it is generally a closed loop system where the feedback signals are used to control the position speed velocity acceleration etc and this servo voltage stabilizer in which the position of the secondary tap is controlled using the motor with an example of servo mechanism let us see the servo mechanism are used to control the position one of the most important component used in this position sensor and this position sensor measures the position of the servo motor and converts it into an electrical signal that the control system can basically use see here basically we required some plant okay so what is plant in case of the control system so it is a portion of the system which is to be controlled or regulated okay and it is a unit where actual processing is performed and if we observe in the figure generally one figure is given in the next slide the input of the plant is controlled with a signal generated by the controller and one more path is there that path is known as feedback path basically this feedback path is available in case of the closed loop control system it means output is completely dependent upon the input and it is controlled action in which the output is sampled and proportional signal is given to the input for automatic correction of any change it means that the output value or output signal is completely dependent upon the signal given by the input 
some error detectors are also attached in this system during the input side and the main function of this error detector is to compare the reference input with the feedback signal and it produces an error signal which is the difference of two input signal which is given at the same time to the reference value and that reference value is known as the reference signal and a feedback signal this error signal is fed to the controller for necessary control action so now we are moving towards controller this controller means the element of the system within itself or external to the system which controls the plant and it is called as a controller this controller basically is an error signal which will be a weak signal and so it has to be amplified and then modified for better control action yesterday we discussed some point related to open loop system closed loop system and one more that is open loop control system that open loop control system basically has one process element and one is output means input is given to the processor and this processor is nothing but the control system of the element and then we are moving towards output means output is enabled okay in open loop system we discuss one motor is there and one water tank is there this water tank basically consists of one low level switch and one is high level switch means whenever we are going to start this pump at the same time the motor will start to deliver the water to the water tank but whenever this tank will reaches to a high level at the same time this motor will automatically stop it indicates that the water tank is full and hence the feedback signal will be given to the motor that the motor tank water tank is completely filled now let us take one more another example related to this tank whenever this water level falls nearer to the lower level switch at the same time again one signal will be given to the motor that the tank is now empty and during this position automatically the motor will start to operate and water will start to flow towards water tank this is related to open loop control system now closed loop system in closed loop system sorry in case of this closed loop system the same thing will be there but in case this water level this can completely dependent upon the signal which is provided to the processor and output means output is dependent in upon input in case of the closed loop system see this diagram here one block diagram is given here input is given to the error detector and then it is given to the controller processor and same is the output means just considering only this path and this straight path is known as forward path or forward communication path okay forget about this output feedback given to this input here just consider this one will be known as open loop system but whenever we are going to connect the output of the system feedback to the input at the same time the complete system will be converted to the closed loop control system here in case of the closed loop control system we start the pump we have no status of the tank level but in closed loop control we have the status of the tank level and if the tank level goes below low level switch actuates and the pump will start by the controller similarly when in the second case if the tank level goes high then the high level switch gets activated and controller will stop the pump and hence the difference between open loop and closed loop system some advantages of this closed loop systems are it is accurate system then even in the presence of non linearity this closed loop system can be gives uh, can gives the accurate reading also these are more stable and less affected by the noise some disadvantages are also there now moving towards one system that is 
adaptive control system so what is basically an adaptive control system so adaptive system is one basically that continuously and automatically measures the dynamic character such as transfer function or state equation of the plant and it compares them with the desired characteristics and use the difference to vary the adjustable system parameter so that the optimal performance can be maintained regardless of the environmental changes it can also be defined as <coughs> adaptive control system continuously measures its own performances just like index and it compares with the given performance i am repeating it also be defined as the adaptive control system continuously measures its own performance in just like index and it compares with its performance index and modifies the parameter such that optimal performance is given under all the operating conditions so here the operating consider let us again consider the water filling tank example and operating condition means whenever the tank reaches to a high level so high level indicates is operating or optimal performance after that whenever tank will reaches to the minimum point or minimum level of the water at the same time it is also called as optimal performance of this water tank and here this feedback will be given to the system this is all over about the comparison between open loop and closed loop system now let us discuss some point related to basic classification of this control system let it be considered as a difference also so in case of the open loop system there is no feedback element but in case of closed loop system there is feedback element exists in case of open loop system there is a no error detector if we consider same in case of the closed loop system yes there exists an error detector and this system is completely inaccurate <coughs> but in case of the closed loop system this system must be accurate sometime the open loop system highly sensitive to the parameter changes but it is a less sensitive to parameter changes in case of the closed loop system and this open loop system is basically in of in economical whereas compared to the closed loop system thank you